Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the basic blocks and flow graphs guys. Okay, so basically basic blocks are nothing but these are the blocks in which there are no jump statements. Okay, so it should not contain any jump statements or branching statements or halts guys. So basically halts are nothing but the sudden exits. Okay, so if they are not there, then we will be saying that this code is a basic block. And all the statements should be executed in the same order as they appear. So there should not be jumps in simple words you can say. So they do not lose the flow control of the program. So basically they flow top to bottom in the step by step. Okay. So if you observe here A is equals to B plus C into D. So T1 is equals to A plus B. Sorry B plus C. And this result plus D that is nothing but T1 plus D is T2. And T2 is stored in A. So this is done from top down right. So first, second, third. So this is a basic block. Similarly, if you take another example, so if A is less than B, then 1 else 0. Okay. So if A is less than B, go to 4. Okay. So 4 is nothing but this position. T1 is equal to 1. So if it is less than, then go 1. Else it is nothing but T1 equal to 0 and then go to 5. So here if you notice, here there is an unconditional or conditional jump. It is conditional jump guys. So based on the condition, you are jumping. So this is not a block. Okay. Okay. Similarly, flow graphs. So flow graphs are nothing but the blocks, how they are going to execute that order is nothing but the flow graph. So flow graph is a directed graph containing the flow for controlling information of the set of blocks making up a program. So a control flow graph is used to depict how the program control is being parsed among the blocks. So this is used in loop optimization guys. So if you observe here block one sends the control to block two and block two assume it as a loop and it executes, execute, executes and then it comes out. So in this way the code can be represented. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on the topic and this is the last lecture of the subject compiler designing or compiler construction guys. Okay. So. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about some important questions. And after that, we will be discussing about the next subject pretty soon, guys. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.